What's up guys, welcome to day two of the vlog. I hoped yesterday I was gonna make day two, but I didn't. I busted two bullets, not really the plan, but we can fire again today. Hopefully we don't have to do it a fourth time. I really wanna play poker all day, so we'll see how the day goes. And of course, I'm gonna keep you guys up to date. All right, awesome. Thank you so much. No, no, don't worry. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, third time's a charm. Alright, so I just got moved to a new table. It's a really nice one. I have Spraggy there, Vanessa Kate, and an old face, Jason Mercier. Also some online crushers, Felicciado, and we have Andrew Chen at the table as well. It's very talkative and we share a lot of nice stories and there's a lot of catching up to do. I'm gonna get in the YouTube comments every day. It's pretty nice, you know, great video. That's Spraggy TV. Big talk from a non-subscriber. He doesn't even subscribe to my channel. Well, uh, he doesn't make YouTube channel. He doesn't. You have a YouTube channel? A very small one. <laughs> Jason, man, well, that's the point. Thank. You. I'm trying to grow it, and he's not even helping me out. Right. Had they not played, they would have made the money, and everybody thinks it's really funny. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> if last of this stack already goes for the. <laughs> Nobody's like. Really, like no sympathy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nobody's <laughs> like, oh, poor guy. The blinds are 200, 500 with a 500 ante. Manuel Feliciado Huivo makes it a thousand from early position. The guy next to him, who has been playing PLO till 4am, calls. I have Ace Jack. The hand is pretty good, but I don't like to play it multi-way so much. If more people behind me call, or raise, it's a pretty bad situation. However, my hand blocks tons of strong hands like Ace King, Ace Queen and Jacks. Good candidate for a bluff. 4000 is the bet. It folds around again to Felaciado, and both him and Mr. PLO call. The flop is deuce deuce 3 with two spades. Pretty good. My ace high is actually going to be good plenty of times and there's not a lot of hands with good equity out there. The one problem is, it's relatively likely one of them has a pair. I can get away with a small bet here. It will make sense for my strong hands as well since the board is so dry. Filaciado has someone behind him so I can leverage their stacks against each other. I bet 3500. Both people call. Honestly, not even that much of a disaster. Filaciado can still have ace highs, flush draws or even king queen of clubs. The turn is another deuce. Now it gets interesting. I'm the only one that's gonna have jacks or higher, probably even tens. Flush draws are dead because of the trips on board. I can still leverage my opponents versus each other. So after they both check, I bet 11,000. Ideally, Felaciado folds a lower pair and Mr. Fialo folds high cards. Felaciado calls, however, and this just means I'm done with the hand. I need an ace or a jack to make the best hand and a king or a queen to bluff. The other guy gets out and we go to the river. It's a jack. Absolute dream. He checks and I go in for 16,000. There's no way he has jacks or better, so this is the easiest value bet ever. He goes in the tank. He calls. He sees my hand and frustratedly throws nines on the table. Good luck at the roulette table, sir. I but I wasn't really watching. I didn't see the jack on the You're used to the old me. No, just like when you were yeah, yeah. it, it was like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. He's high. That would be bad. <laughs> would be bad. Ooh. Why not go like, ooh? <clears throat> Good? <laughs> he got upset. I was still thinking ace high. I was like, Ooh. oh, sick. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I take picture with you because yeah. my subscribers like you? Okay, okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, Have a good day. Yeah, you too. Yeah, uh, crazy level. Uh, as you saw, I played crazy hands. Uh, one really nice one. Um, played some other pots as well. It's just a really, really lively table. Uh, I've been getting a lot of hands. Uh, at the end though, at the end of the break, I had about 70,000 chips and it's 300, 600 and I open with a king. I get re-raised and I go all in for 50 big blinds and I lose a flip against tens, uh, which is pretty painful because now I'm down to 40k again. Uh, so made a lot of really good hands and then the, the flip kind of bumps you back down. So, um, but you know, start 50 big blinds, that's pretty good. The table is nice, I'm having a lot of fun today, I will say that. 
Uh, there's been a lot, a lot of table talk, uh, catching up with Jason Mercier, Sprague at the table, Vanessa Gate, Andrew Chen. It's just been really fun. Um, and I've been getting to play hands, you know. Yesterday was a slow bleed to death. And now it's been uh, big pots and interesting decisions and just having actually a shitload of fun today. So that's really good. But the last two levels now, don't want a repeat of yesterday. So we got to make something fucking happen. Let's go. Come on. We're still at the same table. It's the next orbit. I have ace jack of hearts in a small blind. Mr. PLO makes it a thousand from the cutoff. My hand plays fine out of position, plus Vanessa Kate in the big blind is pretty aggressive. If I call here, I have a good hand to call a 3-bet with or to back jam. She just calls though and we see jack 8 deuce with two clubs. Great flop for me. My hand is strong enough even to check raise. Everyone checks. Turn is a very nice looking 3 of spades. I bet 2500 and Vanessa folds. Mr. PLO puts in 5500 and I'm extremely confused. The raise is super small and looks extremely strong. But I'm also extremely strong. The only option here is to call. The river is the king of spades and I check. Mr. PLO cuts out 12,000. I have no clue what to make of this. One thing that keeps resonating with me is that if he wanted to bluff, he could have easily done it on a flop. The turn didn't change the board at all. Also, if he wants to bluff, he generally raises bigger. Time to take a look. His pulse is raising visibly in his neck. That generally means somebody super weak or super strong. Or maybe it's just the fact that he was awake till 4am. I just don't see how a weak hand like a bad flush draw doesn't just bet the flop. It doesn't make any sense to play a bluff this way. I throw my hand away and I immediately see a little smirk. Uh oh, that looks like a man who pulled off a bluff, says Jason Mercier. He laughs and admits he was bluffing. To make matters worse, he said he wanted to call the turn but accidentally put out 5500 instead of 2500. So that's why it didn't make sense. At the river, he realized that he needed to get me off a jack and he had to bet. What a random coincidence. If he doesn't misclick the turn, we go to the river, I can value bet and he can decide to call or fold, whatever because he clearly had a pair lower than a jack. What an annoying hand. Uh, frustrating again. Yesterday I busted right before the end of day one. Busted again now. Oh, I had 80,000 at one point, you know. And then I uh, lost a big flip that I mentioned. Uh, and then after I had 40K and I just had sort of like a similar situation to day one. Uh, just blinded down. Every big line I called, I had to fold the turn or the flop. Every time I raised, I had to fold to three bets. So just, I don't know, a little bit frustrating. And then in the end, I had uh, 15 big lines uh, in the big lines. And Fabriz, who joined the table, uh, opened from the cutoff. I shoved, which is like dream spot for 15 big lines with Jax. But he had Ace King, which is still fine, but lost that flip. So two really important flips today. Lots of frustrating hands. I, oh, yeah, there was so much potential. I have to have like 80,000. I had like 250 big lines or something. But um, yeah. I don't know, it's whatever, you know, it's uh, a little bit frustrating. And yeah, I mean, as you can see, everybody's bagging for fucking day two. Uh, so everybody made day two, uh, 15 minutes, but left in the day, but I don't know. I guess uh, tomorrow's gonna be an off day. I'm gonna chill with my family, which is really nice to have a full day with them. And then it's gonna be mystery bounty time. So 3K mystery bounty day after tomorrow, which I can't wait to play. It's gonna be my first mystery bounty live. Who knows? It's been fun playing and we're gonna play more.